these, one of these. The sweet chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, that's okay. better. And <laughs> what, this? Not sugar. It's I'll, like take, I'll take one of those. Yeah. One for me. She'll have one of those. There's the flame towers. That is the huge, massive Azerbaijani flag right there. Oh, wow. Uh, I love your thank you. <laughs> these look like a nice fountain. Look at this. Looks like salt crystals coming up. Wow. Oh, very good. Morning, everyone. It's day number one. We're in Baku. Let's give a quick room tour. Now, the bed. A little firm. I didn't mind it. Emily is a little bit broke up on her back. But the, the shower, just had a shower in there. And the shower was lovely. It has, you know... The tub, the faucet thing, and also the noodle shower and the handheld thing, really good. I did uh, both of my video, not the videos, just the videos I took. Um, so all in all, I, I was happy enough. It has the air conditioning there, so it was really warm in the room. Last night I turned it on and it was actually nice and cool. But this is, uh, I wanna show you this. This is so view out here. This is our balcony out here. This is what we work up to. Now it is 10 a.m. when we woke up, a little bit late, but we've been traveling for 30 hours, so we have a whole day ahead of us. Well, look at the view. You can see the flame towers right over there, at least one of them. And then the Caspian Sea over there. And then this is the Fountain Park, I believe. And anyways, we have a full day of uh, adventure. Um, first off, we're going to walk around, uh, try to find a... Uh, Shawar Kameez, or when I go to Pakistan. Um, tell you a story a little bit later about when we got the apartment as opposed to the um, the uh, the hotel that we had booked. A little bit of story about that. Don't know if we're being done a bit, but we'll see. I'll let you know about the whole story when we get walking around town. I have to get used to these stairs. There's five floors, no, no, so, no. but... Uh, we get your steps in anyways. So how did you enjoy the uh, sleeping last night? Perfect. <laughs> your back's broke up? <laughs> Mine's okay. Like I said, when I stayed at that house in Bakchol in Nepal, it was like a wooden plank with a sheet on it. So it was really rough. So not my fault. So this is a, but it's really beautiful here. Like coming out the courtyard here and uh, beautiful sun and so I think you know I'll tell you a bit about a story about it so we, we arrived at the taxi driver dropped us off at the block where I took my picture for the Instagram and he said the guy the manager will be here shortly so we waited there for about seven or eight minutes and then the guy showed up and he had um, he said that there was a problem with the hotel but he has an apartment for us and he showed us the view of the uh, where the, the balcony is. And it's a, it's right where the F1 passes right by. Really nice. So I think it's an upgrade as far as the location is and stuff. Um, but then again, he asked me, I don't know if this is a little bit of a scam or that, but they save on the old, in, the uh, percentage on the uh, commission for the booking. He said, can you cancel the booking.com? So I was able to cancel it. You know, doesn't affect me and that, but booking.com doesn't get the commission and that. But also a second that, it also leaves me short with any recourse, like if I have an issue, I can't go to booking.com because it just actually didn't exist, so. But I mean, right now, the shower was really good. I did my beautiful view. We're right in the, I think that's the Fountain Square just behind us, and there's another one, and we're right in the old city, so, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Cost, what, 230 euros for eight nights? Plus, he said, the taxi's gonna be free going back to the airport. I said, yeah, well, it's gonna be around one o'clock in the morning. He said, no problem, just call him. So, you know, right now, happy with it. We'll keep in touch and let you know how it how it unfolds. And there's good Wi-Fi for upload. I will, I'll do a Wi-Fi check on it later, but I think it was around 30, 30 per uh, second, so, which is anything over 20 is okay. Now we're just gonna look for you to get a coffee, so. Emily needs her coffee in the morning. So do I, but we'll have a coffee and make a day plan and see why. I want to go see if I can find a shawar kameez for my Pakistan trip. See if I can get one here. Uh, what's this building? Oh. 
Oh. It said don't film, so. What's that? Oh, it's a government building. Internal affairs, so you're not allowed to record there, so. Keep on going. Yeah, it's nice though. Coffee and juice there. There's no place to sit outside though. You're looking for a place with a patio or something. This is interesting. You walk right through a uh, Yeah. Wow, it's neat. There's a cafe here. You see him smoking here? <laughs> no, I don't see it. No, like antique shop. Sandals for when I go to um, Pakistan, like leather ones, and certain ones. Of there's a peak, there's a peak cafe. Yep. One Tink and Ronan. Yeah. Oh, there's Kalai Kami. What? Kalai Kami. Oh, yeah. Here's the market here, if you want to go and take a look at the market. There's a Peak Cafe there. You don't want to get your... Well, you want... We won't get the water because they'll be out all day. We'll get that towards you come back. Here's like a... Oh wow, look at all these little things. What do we need uh, for the... This is Professor Snacks for later. Right here. Um, 73 for Jameson, which would be about 40 euros. Nice bread here. 95 as we're running, so that's about 50 uh, cents. Uh, things like this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see? 99 it's cents, it's 50. Yeah. So we have a flavor. It's numb. And toilet paper, too, we need. Don't hold no, because we're walking around. We'll come back later on in the evening. Hmm? No, it was open last night when you were walking by, and that was like 12 o'clock. So. Oh, okay. Here's coffee. Uh, 10 euros for that. Which that's what is a home. And I'd have it every day if I would have done that. You need smaller packs. Smaller packs. Let's go find the real coffee. We'll take a look. Um, well, Jesus, these are the ones in our fridge. <laughs> you don't go in there. 
been there from, so probably give that a pass. I always prefer to pay your TV license, I guess. Telephone. Internet. Oh, they have it here. TV payments, yeah, government payments, utility payments, store, bank services. Oh, wow, eh? There's no two. No two there. Isn't it fabulous? I've been a 50 for years. <laughs> and your top up machines here. Okay, there's a lot of stuff for you back later. Yeah, we'll come back later and uh, get some stuff, supplies for the uh, Oh, let's see how much their beers are, just for the crack. So, two, well, these ones are 149. That's about 75 cents. 310, that's about a 150. It's 10% alcohol. Ooh, that'd wreck your head. And the models, 250, about 125, roughly. It's rough. It's not exactly 50%. I was looking at my statement yesterday when I took out uh, 200 uh, the knot, it cost me 110 euros. So you're looking about 45%. and piercing. So look at the building on the side. It has a nice mosaic or building. That's the that's the uh, old towers. The uh, we didn't where we're staying at. We're still on a quest for coffee. Emily needs her coffee, but she wants a place where she can sit down and have it. Like there's lots of coffee places to go. Look at on that street. One, two, three coffees right beside each other. Little lady, which is cleaning up with that looks like a tree. Looks like she took it. Yeah, she makes a broom with a bunch of trees. Huh? Oh, yeah. And at night, all these buildings have lights throughout the city. Like, I, that's one thing I noticed. Everywhere, like, even on the highway when we were coming in with the taxi, like, um, there was a time I took back, I, I took out the 200 Minot there, but I couldn't really, I mentioned it in the vlog, I probably won't use it because it was so dark in the taxi, but it is, uh, they drive fast. It's like they're on the Formula One. And if across the street, there's the place where we had dinner last night. Um, it was okay. Uh, I think we were overcharged a bit, but you know, we've been up for 30 hours, so we'll chalk that up to experience. Um, they seem to have a lot of cafe places to go. I don't really see much sit-down places. But maybe we're just in the wrong spot. And here's another Bravo Express. That's open till 11 o'clock at night. So here's another option to go. This one might be a little cheaper, it looks like. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now until we find a place to have a coffee or a shop where it has the... Uh, what I'm looking for. Looks like a little bar downstairs. Bob shop. Little kiosk. Yeah. Well, it's uh, closed, I think. Beauty zone. Want to get? There's a beauty zone. They have garbage cans everywhere, so that's nice. Puffy sexy. <laughs> Closed. That's quite the sign. Look at the sign on the coffee. There's a little shop. Let's 
City Park, Baku. Another barber shop. So we're just walking around randomly, just getting our bearings for the first day in Baku. So this, I think today will be a, just a exploratory vlog of just walking around, getting something to eat. Here's another Bravo store. How's he gonna get out? Here's a shop with produce. Tomatoes. Some. Oh yeah, hospital. Let's keep going on. We're stopping in this little place there. They have just... And so this looks nice. Here's the back of us. Look at this one. I think I'm going to get one of these. That looks like a whole lot of It just looks like soap. And they have foods up here. I will just get a coffee and, and uh, I want to get one of these. Yeah. Which one are you going? What do you want there, eh? One of these. Okay. No, I'll take one of these. One of these. The sweet chocolate. Yeah, that's okay. better. Okay, and what, this? Nuts, sugar. It's I'll, like I'll take one of those. Yeah. One for me. She'll have one of those. Okay. All right. So we'll go sit down and grab it. Okay, 3.50. Okay, thank you. 350. This all came to uh, 350. So which is about two euros for two coffees and two of these pastries. Very good deal. Let me give it a shot. Mm. Nice, nice. How's yours? Beautiful. Very good. Not bad, you can't explain the Complain about the price. Let's try the coffee. It's actually not bad for an instance like um, a cappuccino, a mochaccino coffee in a packet. Yeah, approved. Starting off with a coffee and we'll get going. Let's see where we get up to. So here's where we stopped in. I highly recommend it. It was like all fresh stuff. She kept baking, bringing stuff out. Really quaint little place on a side street in in Baku. Like like three fifty she charged. I gave her five but not uh, just because I couldn't be seeing it three fifty. So for the two of us to have a late, sweet little breakfast there, it was lovely. Look at the side streets. Look at all these buildings hanging over. Someone told me it's all of these are built there by themselves to extend apartments. So it's like no planning for me. They just, they just extend all of them. So all these little side streets have these extensions they were balconies to convert it into extra rooms so very interesting popped in this what is building in the corner going up very interesting keep going still on the hunt for the promenade or also trying to see if we can find a snow arcanese This is like a supermarket place. Mm -hmm. This looks good to pick up um, mineral or something. 79 cents for iced tea. That's not bad. No. I don't like physics. There's water down there at the back. You want to get a bottle of water for yourself just to keep with it? Yeah. 
64 Minot for Jaeger, big Jaeger Masters. That's about 30 euros. So. 70 Minot for the huge bottle of babies. Baku cool, cool, VSOP 16, so that's 8 euros for a Baku cool one. Look at that. That's, this is a nice looking one. Oh, look at these 40 cents for these little waters. 50 yeah. cents for these ones. So that's 25 cents. Yeah. They have some in the fridge there too if you want. Yeah. Okay. These little store. I like yeah. these little shops. No, I do too. I like, I know these. Lemon. Coca Cola. Lemon Coke. Yeah, that's. 450. So that's 70. Oh, 140. 140, I mean, 70 cents or huh? 80 cents for a large bottle. Wow. So definitely got done at that restaurant last night for 40. But not for the pizzas. Oh, yeah, completely. But then the other place we went to for breakfast that makes up. So that's 40 cents, 20 cents for a bottle of water. Make sure you get the right one. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get some iced tea. Okay. I'm okay. I don't want anything like that right now, so. How much is it? I'd imagine it's about the same. 60 cents. I'll get this instead of water. Get yeah. water later. Okay. Now, these are the bit of everything that we could need. Um, I know, but we don't want to carry it around all day. <laughs> no, but some little handy bits. Yeah, we're there for a week, so. Yeah, but I had to find this place again. <laughs> had a little tube of washing powder be handy, but she buys it because she was so funny. Yeah. Toilet paper is dear. The toilet paper is more expensive. Yeah. It's about three fifty. Well, it's not really used, is it? I don't know. Well, they have all the. No. Nope. Okay, I'll let you go pay for that. We'll keep going. A few moments later. Well, you got some like deodorant and some little bits and water and that. And then here's a little shop. Very nice. There's an old building oh, here. There's what I want, is it? Cafe, restaurant. There's where she's gonna yeah. park her, and then I can run off and do some vlogging. How's that? Yeah. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. I can look for my Khmer chemise. Shower. Please. Khmer's. Ah, uh, well, well. What's the price like? Salads, 14, so seven euros. Oh yeah, this looks nice. Oh wow. 45. That's a little price here, but... Oh, 8. Yeah, definitely nicer. Nice. I knew I've seen all these pictures. There you go. Oh, step. Okay, here's the Fountain Square. That's what this is. So, oh, look at look at that table. Look at the table with the food. There's like a twenty or forty dishes in front of her. Oh no, I see. This is where I want food. Yeah. So, welcome to the Fountain Square. We'll walk around the Fountain Square. You do that. Now walk around. So, we're walking around this beautiful square, middle of April. It's a long trip there to get here, but I think it was well worth it. Oh yeah, definitely nice. Here's the big main one here. There's another one over there. Oh, there's all sorts of fountains. And there's a Ferris wheel for kids. Like the old style. And the man's cleaning the uh, grass, pruning it, getting it all nice. I wonder when they turn it on. There's lights in the water and everything, so I 
Maybe in the evening time it gets turned on. Lots of places to have a seat around, watching the fountain. Yeah, so there's where you get your tickets for it. We won't be doing that one. I think that'd be a little bit cheeky. Oh yeah, and there's a walkway that goes down towards the promenade. Here's some marble stair uh, chairs. Very nice. Look at these little cars that your kids can rent and drive around. See? Now the remote control. Your man's controlling it, or the kids drive around in it. The owner would love that. But here's another fountain. There's McDonald's fountain there coming up. And there's a little van of stuff over there. We'll take a look what that is. Look at these little hippos. It's very clean in uh, Baku. That's one thing I've noticed. Beautiful trees and garden. Very nice. Burger house in front. There's Zara. Big end boutique. The house cafe. Bubble cup. Here's another fountain with big bowls. Here's McDonald's right there. So here you have McDonald's here. And then right across the road. Fountain restaurant and music hall. And then there's Happy Moons on top, Costa Coffee, Zara. And I won't be finding my shower kameez in there. It'll be very expensive. I want to find a little shop if I can. If anyone knows in the comments where it was, maybe I'll throw a TikTok up and see. If anyone can comment on where I can get my shower kameez. So this is a uh, hall there. Very nice. We do a little thumbnail here. Go get Emily. People running around. There's the KFC, Pizza Hut, Cafe City. Look at the uh, square. Tons of people. There's a little character in a costume there. You must put boiling him. Lots of boutiques here. Yes, this is located just out on Fountain uh, Square. Beautiful place. Silver. For the uh, jewelry items. Binti. I guess that looks like lingerie. Here's me de la A higher store. Perfumes. I buy my deal. Beauty, beauty, yeah. That well, yeah, but you they'd probably pay a lot more for that there. There's a bank. Or a restaurant. There's a 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 there
You have to watch with your foot. Police. Barbershop and tattoo. Led Zeppelin. Bristol Hotel. Smoking bar. We're back onto the main drag here. Yeah. Natural rolling papers. There's nice old buildings around everywhere you see though. And here we're back to the main promenade area. Chef Baku restaurant. And Starbucks. Yes, yeah, so you go that way you'll hit to the uh, Fountain Square again. And here it divides up into two. Keep one of those faces and go. Uh, Emily's dying to get to Zara, and that would not be my thing I want to do. So I've left her off on her own device. Now she doesn't have a, a SIM card, so unless she finds a hotspot. But we made a, an arrangement to meet at two o'clock at the uh, the fountain area. So I have an hour and a half to explore. So we'll just keep walking around and see what we can get up to in an hour and a half. So this street is like a pedestrian street that just keeps going on. And I think it goes to the promenade. I think you see the water at the front of us. Chestnuts and uh, mussels. Corner kebab burrito. So they're all like restaurant coffee places. Not many uh, shops. I'm just uh, probably at the wrong spot though. Second cup, coffee, friends. That's too long into the lounge bar. The weather's nice though. Yeah, we're coming up to the uh, sea there. Turn it off till we get closer unless something jumps up at us. Boulevard here to cross over. And a lot like uh, when I was in uh, Bulgaria, if anyone watched the Bulgarian uh, vlogs, they have these uh, underground to pass over, to go underneath the uh, roads to get up instead of interrupting the traffic with the uh, signals. So, and then so stuff for kids. <laughs> and then we're back up. So it's easy enough. 
here's the start of a promenade. Now, a little interesting fact about the promenade, it goes 13 kilometers, so it takes a person about two and a half hours to walk the whole promenade. There's bike trails too. So you can see people with the scooters that you can rent. They have both, both uh, scooters. I did a thing about the both bikes in Wexford Town. They're all over a place in Ireland now, and actually all over Europe. It's an Ezra Wins company. So you just with an app on your phone, you can pick it up and rent. Here's some rides for kids. Little amusement rides. Here's a big chess set. You can play chess. Very interesting. And then, there is Dundurma, so ice cream, pepin corn, and fluff air cotton candy. Yeah, here's a place I think Emily would have loved. But she's focused on the old uh, going to uh, Zara. Definitely beautiful. Look at that big bouncy castle for kids. And there's a big Azerbaijani flag in the background there. You can see it. And there's the flame towers. We'll be doing that during this week. I'll be taking the vernacular up to it, look around it, and then see it what it looks like at night too. Because at nighttime they all get lit up. There's three flame towers. The history of Azerbaijan dates back with the flames. And we'll go and do a tour one day of the, uh, the there's a place where there's all these rocks and that, they're always on fire. And the history of that goes back to 4,000 years has been going on. No matter how many rain or snow on top, it doesn't stop it. Here's your men that are trying to clean up, keep the place clean. Here's a statue of a man. Let's see who that is. And we'll walk on the, uh, walk on the promenade there. Right? Someone's playing music. Oh, there's music here. So I guess that's who he was. A oh, musician. Okay. Muslim Magomayev, an internationally recognized baritone. Oh, very good. So here we are on the promenade. I think at the relatively the beginning of it. Look at that. Does that remind you of like Australia maybe? If you look in the water, I just noticed that there's a platform in the water. It's like a miniature version of that, I think. Here's what it looks like all around at the promo. Look at these features. It's a very beautiful city. Walking around. And then, of course, there's the flame towers. And then it's the huge massive Azerbaijani flag right there. So I have to pick one up. I'm going to try to get one for my collection. Here's your man selling Turkish uh, ice cream. You know where they play the trick to keep getting it from you and take it away from you and stuff like that. Still some view here. You hear the call to prayer in the background. <laughs> it's very peaceful walking on this promenade. It's at 13 kilometers long. So, see the beautiful sea in front of us? So, like I explained before, it's not actually a sea, it's the world's largest lake. Um, because there's no water feeding into it, but it's called the Caspian Sea. And the you know, size of it, there's actually big freight liners in the, in the middle of it, so it gives you a low to what size it is. Very nice. 
So I'm gonna shut it off for now. Unless I see something pop up as you walk along, the promenade. Here's a little closer view of that. Looks like a replica of that. Salute. Solito that is. Don't know what that is? You can always look it up. And so I did a little bit of the promenade. Here's the view of it again. Very nice. Here's Nerman, the uh, ice cream. And then uh, I'm gonna make my way back up. Let's try a different part of the walking around the city. And see what I come up with. Hopefully, find something new. Well, everything's new. First time here. We keep going. There's these go kart or there you go. AB to drum. So bumper cars, basically, and then some nice seated air entrances there, where you can sit down in the shade. And then there's some grass, green grass, and all along there's these little places where you can sit down in the cool shade and relax. Every one of every 50 feet or so, there's a little kiosk to sell drinks or ice creams or coffees. But it's a nice way to spend an afternoon walking around. Very interesting. Now we need to look for another underpass to get across the other side. As I'm seeing, it looks starting to look kind of busy again. Everywhere you go, you can always see the flame towers. They highlight all around the city. And the buildings are just amazing. Like, and like I said, it really the feature it stuck out to me last night when we were driving in from the airport. Every building seems to be lit up. It just adds to the uh, the visual aspect of it. So it's very nice. Always, you always see the uh, Turkish flags with the uh, Azerbaijan flag. And there's statues everywhere. It's a main won't be able to pass that. So, let me find a place to cross over. Cross. I just want to show you, I found another one of the um, carousels. This one's a permanent one indoors. And it's right beside where they have all the little amusement rides for the kiddies. So, it's a nice place to come with family and that if you wanted to bring your little kids. There's things for them to do. And for the adults. And it's very peaceful. Like, I noticed that night... We were walking around, it was like 12 o'clock at midnight after we finished eating, going back to the the apartment, and there was no messing around. Like People were actually going to coffees, having coffees at night with couples and stuff. And it doesn't seem to be like a drinking culture around here, so. So we're, I think I found a place that might have some clothing that I'm looking for. We'll cross over here, get on the other side, it's about, kilometer away so we'll get going with that we're walking along the uh, side street I think I have to walk another like five blocks and then I have to turn left and then right again I think I'll take a look at my phone when I get closer but I figured it'd be a good place to walk around and see what the, we have to offer now still have to find some little things I want to find the magnets to bring home and I want to find a pin for my hat. The hat that Emily loves. No, she doesn't. But I like it. It reminds me of places to go, and it's usually a conversation piece. A lot of people have commented on it. Let me know in the comments if you like my hat. Oh, wow. Uh, I love your hat. Thank you. And uh, we'll just keep going. I need a um, patch for my back, back uh, so... I want to get a flag of Azerbaijan. And uh, what else? A little flag. I mentioned that before. You know, like a death size flag or is that? I have a huge two foot one from uh, from uh, Nepal. And I got a quite large one from uh, Bulgaria. A little larger than I thought it was going to be, anyways. So here's the one where we are at the promenade. That weighs towards the Fountain Square. We'll just keep walking this way a bit. Okay. 
nice buildings though everywhere you go like the architecture is amazing as it was in Bulgaria you know but these ones if you look at the lights you see on the the buildings there's all these little lights going everywhere so at night it goes up towards the sky along the building and it just spectacular I was happy enough with the uh, apartment uh, the bed was fine I had no problem with it and we found it a little hard but it'll take her a little bit to get used to it but shower was nice and warm Wi-Fi is good you know like I said for about 30 euros a night where can you get that you know beautiful buildings these are nice see these are lights too not to be sat on but they progress up and then uh, you just keep moving along and see what we can find I think we're getting close across from the uh, Armani Salam A little bit above my budget. That's here from the Formula One thing, so there is money here. Tight little fit. Let's just go across, just like we were in Nepal. If you waited for them to give you, you'd never get anywhere. Now here's the waterfront there, there's your money store. Two minutes walk up, and it should be on our right hand side. So it's the only Muslim store I've seen is in men's Muslim clothing, so I don't know if it's actually only Muslim or let's see if we can get the uh, shower kameez. And if we can't, I'll just have to wait till I get to Pakistan. There's always my option of my friend Ahmed. His father's going back to Afghanistan for six weeks. He's offered to get it for me, but didn't want to impose on him and his father and stuff. Like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If not, I'll get a few when I get to Pakistan because I'll go there with just one pair of pants and that, and that's it. And then I'll buy it all there. Because you get a shower kameez in Afghanistan, or in Pakistan for, I think about 20, 10, 20 uh, euros worth. And that's the whole top and bottom. There's a lot of different places there. Uh, thank you. See? Somebody wakes my hat. Oh, high end restaurant or cafe door. Coffee shop or ice cream shop. Yep. We should be coming up to it on the right hand side. Men's Grooming Center. The Avenue. Wow. Very pricey, I'd say. But then again, you're saving on the, uh, the difference. Salam. Salam. Samsung store. Okay. Let's see if it's around here somewhere. I'm going to stop the video and then we'll look. But it's not the right one. It's a Cafe Milano. Uh, it's a shirt place for Italian shirts. Now they were ranging like designer shirts for 100 a knot, which is about 50 euros. But they looked really nice, but not what I was looking for. So I'll keep on plotting away. We'll make our way back towards the fountain. I think we're getting close to it. Maybe get something to bite to eat. I'll take a look at my uh, map and see. There's three restaurants I want to crack at that they're in, like caverns and stuff. Are really looking lovely, authentic uh, Azerbaijani food. We'll get something like that. And we'll enjoy the afternoon, chilling. And getting our bearings and then tomorrow we'll make a mad start tomorrow morning i'll get going 
and we'll uh, tomorrow morning we'll get going and doing a vlog. I'll look up online for one of those tours to go to the fire, the fire pits or mountains or whatever they're called. Okay, here's another fountain. So we're in the fountain area, but it goes all the way up there. So I'll take a look at here, see what this is like. Like it is beautiful. If I can meet somebody that spoke a little bit of English and preferably Muslim, then I can ask them about the shower kameez if they know where I can find one. It's like a big restaurant there. These look like a nice fountain. Look at this. Looks like salt crystals coming out of the water. Three people. In the I wonder when the fountain side up. It's very beautiful though. There's a park for kids. Another park for kids. Lots of people around. That's the first bit of rubbish I've seen. Uh, you don't really see it around here. I, I looked online and it's really frowned upon to uh, litter. So it's probably not somebody from uh, Baku that left out there. Now there seems to be a few tourists around. They all go to the promenade. There's lots of things to see and walk around and people to see. There's the bins there. Why couldn't they have done that? Iran Air. I want to go to Iran. That's next on my list. We also have to find a souvenir shop and stuff. Here's like a Kalagani Mall. And there's a couple markets to Donair. Nashka Market. Now, when you see the markets, really it's just the shops. Really nice though. Square Inn Hotel. We'll take a look inside here. Here we might get our pins or stuff like that. No, 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 no. Didn't say no. Oh. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hello, Salam. Uh, How are you? Fine. Do you want something? Um, do you have any badges? Uh, yes, Azerbaijan you, have. Azerbaijan. Yes. There we go. I have flag also and harbul bil also. This Azerbaijan flag, nationally. That's that's what I'm looking and for. And other also have, like this one also have harbul bil. Special Azerbaijan. You know oh, Shusha yeah? Karabakh? No. It's uh, Azerbaijan uh, something place. Yeah. It's occupied with Armenia. We are again occupied with this one places Karabakh. Karabakh here have some um, places on yeah. the special. This have here Shusha. It's fun here. Flower is grown. Is uh, flower only special Azerbaijan. Oh. Okay. Only here have. The flower open like bird. Okay. Its name Karabakh. Very good. I explain. <laughs> um, how much are the? Uh... Magnets. Magnets. Magnet. I have another another prices. Okay. Two minutes. Wait. I have plastic magnet also have, and ceramic also. You want ceramic or metal? Um. I have new also. I show. Either or. I want to get a couple like just. <laughs> I have. Bla uh, wait. For a good price, of course. Okay. <laughs> uh, no metal. I'll get a few. You want or uh, ceramic? You say me, I give it this one. Metal? Metal is good? Yeah, let me see metal first. Metal because it's not broken. Broke. Yeah, it won't break. Yeah, I come. Two minutes. Two minutes, I come. That's one. You have to they come. Yeah. So, I'm just... Come here, please. Yep. Okay. I thank you. That. No problem. You say me, I give it. Okay. This new have one. Four mana. I give you five pieces, fifteen mana. Five this pieces, fifteen. Fifteen mana. This can't for us. If you want, I will show and you choose. Okay, give me five pieces. Five. Yeah. Can't all the kids metal other than mana. That's uh, one. One. 
One with the flags on it, like this I one's have nice. Also too. Yep. That's all? Right? Yep. Okay. And, I'll pull you. And do you have a a patch for like a uh, backpack? You choose this one, yes? Two. I got the two, they're there. Ah, one, another where? It should be in your hand. Oh, and wait, is that it there? Do you have a backpack patch, like a flag? It's a pack? material. Like it goes on a backpack. Ah, like this? Yeah, yeah. like uh, you sew it ah, on. Ah, for baggage? Yes. Baggage, no. No, okay. Only baggage or books up here, you know. And how about, do you have any stickers? Sticker, no, only books. Only just that. Sticker, that's one, huh? No, no, is this, I'm talking like, like, uh, like paper ah, that sticks. paper, no. Okay. You also, book house, you ask here, maybe yeah. this gift here yeah. have. Of the... This is Two five. Pins. Yeah. This is three. 23. Okay. Three. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Only this one? That's it, yeah. Uh, Wait, be careful. Oh. Be careful for. Yeah, yeah. I have another also for woman. You don't want woman? No, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. That's good. That's good. Thank you very much. Okay. So I got a pin for my hat. I'll get a coffee and I'll put it on. Ah, wait. Yeah. I yeah. give it 20. So. 23. Yes. Yeah. 27, yes? Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Do you ask here, book house, here has to have, maybe you ask here. The book house? Yes, here have big book house. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So that was very good. We got a couple of items anyways. Mm -hmm. So I need to get my sticker and my backpack and a flag. I didn't ask her about the flags. Ah, we'll see. Share the wealth. Spend, spend the money elsewhere. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get a shower convenience here. Doesn't seem to be a thing. So I have to wait for Pakistan for that, so I'll look forward to that. I'll look at the phone, get a restaurant. I have three that I picked out prior that I wanted looked interesting to go see. We'll maybe make one of them our place to hit the town. All sorts of little nooks and crannies here. State Academic Russian Drama Theater. Kavada National Cuisine. It looks like a nice place. So, soups are five or six minutes, that's two or three euros. Burgers are about six, seven, Euros, pizzas, yeah, normal price. Well, here's something. Yeah, yeah. Wonder if they'll have a flag. They seem to have flags. So, um, do you have any flags? Small yeah. flag. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan flag. Yes. Yeah. Yes, all they made all. Oh, yes. 
No, a cloth like this, like paper, not paper, but uh, like a. It, uh, this is a uh, ditch car. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, and. Uh, yes, this is, uh, what, what, excuse me. Yeah. Yes, what this is? Yes, please. Oh, uh, this is uh, just my hats. I get pins from oh, everywhere. Please, please. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, something small, like that. Small? Yeah, small like that. Oh, that's it. What, yes, what is Naski? Or the middle? Oh, yeah, no, I, no uh, I don't yeah. need it. I have one from when I went to uh, mm. Bulgaria. I got this one. Is this is Oh, yeah. Yeah, how much is that? Uh, oh, that one's nice. Two manats. Two manat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Do you have one that goes on a backpack, like a cloth one for like a backpack? Material like a... I wish I would have brought them. No, I don't need a sticker. No, 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 don't need that. This is just good. Just the uh, flag itself. That'd be that'd be fine. I'll get that. Much. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, so I got my flag. All righty. Thank you. So, two minutes, so that's a euro, about a euro. Very nice shops here. With tons of water restaurants and stuff like that. If I'm, if I'm uh, not confused, sometimes I get, this should be getting me right back to where it's the Fountain Square so I can meet up with Emily. We get something to eat. Fountain. We're getting close to the Fountain Square. You can see the, see, restaurant. It's called Fountain Square, so we're getting close. I'll try to collect Emily and then go get. Uh, where's the information place? Ooh, let me go hit that Canada shop. <laughs> I'll hit that up. The information. I know where it is now. It's right beside now Fountain Square and. Get information on the tour to uh, the fire, the fire pits or mountains or whatever they're called. I'll do that later on in the week. Here's the McDonald's. So we're getting close. I'll turn it off until I find Emily now, and then we'll go to a special restaurant that uh, it's not too far from here. And it's one on my list. So stay tuned and see what that is. So I met up with Emily. She was. Proud of herself, she did an hour and a half shopping and she didn't buy anything. So now we're going to Dolma restaurant. I can see it right here. You can see the sign, it's downstairs. Have some traditional Azerbaijani food and we'll see what that's like. I'm getting kind of hungry anyway, so wonder what it's like. Open 11 to 2. Hopefully, that's not two in the afternoon. <laughs> Alrighty. Salam. Hello. Yeah. Oh, they have little stuff here too. Oh, very nice. Um, two people? Yes, yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. Very nice. Hello. Salam. One person? Two. Okay. Two person. Share it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Very nice. Sorry, it's from here. Here for you. Um, here's good, eh? Okay, but over here. Where is she gone? To? All for you. Okay. Where is she? I'm gonna go get her. I'll sit her. Em? Yeah. Here be good. Thank you. I'll sit there. Just all for the other Sorry, one minute for you. Oh, it's hard. Oh, thank you. Ah, thank you. I actually need to get my glasses off. Oh. 
This is a gadget case. Yeah, very nice. I think this is where they were. Yeah? I need my glasses, I can't see. It's very good. Oh no, just taking out my backpack. Thank you. Ah. Sorry, you want to take here? No, no, it's okay. I'll put it here. Yeah. Thank you very much. I seen the guys dressed around like this. I was wondering what they were dressed for, so now we've seen it. So. Wow, looks good. Wow, that looks nice. It's good to have pictures. <laughs> That's a salad. Here's what it looks like around the place. Really, really nice. Exactly what I was uh, envisaging. envisaging, envisaging. Envisaging. That's it. That's the word. Wow. Eggplant. I'm not a fan of eggplant. Here's the meat dishes. Wow. There's. It's a huge book. So I'm gonna put this down for a bit. Look at it, and I'll let you know what I decided. Uh, I'm gonna have. No, you wanna get it? Yeah. Alright. What about your salad first? And you want it with tomato? Tomato salad. Okay. Yeah. And uh, tabouli. And I want the. Where is it? This. It's a pot dough and a beer. I want a beer. What do you want? Coke. 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 We have Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. And uh, what kind of beer? Just a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. This is draft. This is uh, draft. I'll have this one here, number two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's side dishes as well. What? Side dishes, do you want? No, uh, that'll be more than enough. I won't be able to eat it all. A beer, one or two? One beer, one Pepsi. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm used to ordering by myself anyway, so I'm always nice. Huh? I'm used to ordering by myself by the, when I get these places. Really nice, look, look at Yeah. Although the music is on, so I'll turn it off till we get the food to find the uh, toilets. They give her a Pepsi, very cold and fast, and then I have my beer here. Just a draft beer, local one. So I'll give it a shot. Very fruity. It's okay. Let's wait for a few. Okay, so our tabouli and tomato salads arrived. So I'm gonna go give that a shot. See what it's like. Plus, we got some nice bread, fresh bread here. Nice tabouli, we'll put that on the plate. Give it a shot. Hopefully, not destroy the place. Oh, as I'm doing, I always do that. And then we'll try some of the tomato salad there. Let's give it a shot. First with the tabouli. Mmm, wonderful. Try some of this tomato salad. Very nice. Finish it off with a slice of the bread. Mm. Very good. This is our starter. I'll finish it off and we'll show you what the, the main taste is. Wow. Ah, very good. Thank you very much. And that's Emily's there. She's got the lamb, sober lamb, and uh, mashed potatoes. And then here's the tabouli and the tomato sauce. That's really, really good. Look at that.
That's a lot more than I thought. The dish looked like really small when I on the size, but it's massive. Reminds me a bit of the uh, meal I had in Bo uh, Bulgaria at the Bulgarian restaurant, uh, Momo's. I'll get a shot. Give it a shot. Let's try it first with a little apple. This is what happens with peppers. Oh. Hot. Very good. Mm. Okay, and here's some desserts that you can get here also when you're here. Little froggies. Look at the little froggies. They're nice. Yeah. Those are nice, the frogs. That is like the frogs. So, that was 91.30 Minot, which is basically like 47 euros. Um, which is very, very affordable because there's way too much food. It was, uh, I had two beers and we had two Pepsis. We had the starters, the two salad to starters. She had the, uh, I think it's the, uh, rib of, uh, lamb or loin of lamb or something like that. And I had the, uh, that pot with the lamb and that it was just really, really good. So can't complain very good service and it's just right here on the pier and this is where it looks like to go down so a little thumbnail come here if you're wanting to see it good authentic um, Azerbaijani food Down where we had the uh, merry-go-round this interesting the building here There's a square, like market square, or not a market, but a garden square going up. Man's watering the plants. And then, not really sure what this building is. Nice figures on there. And there's the wall of the old city. We'll be doing that uh, tomorrow, I think. Going in there. And the background through the trees, I don't know if you can pick it up there, but that's the flame towers. There's a big statue up here. We'll go see what that is. Here's a big statue. Try to get out of the sun. There we go. Zemi. Can have 11.41 to 12.09. And then here it looks down towards that main building that I showed just recently. Now we'll just make our way back towards the apartment, if we can find it. <laughs> 